Alrighty, so today was supposed to be a bit of an off day, like a bit of a rest day. I've been doing a lot of fishing, but I just got a cheeky invitation for hard mode Rago, and I can't resist. We did quite a bit. We got the um, the full outfit, um, oh, 54kc full outfit, so that means we do have Bombi chance. So that'd be super, super cool if we can get that. Um, but yeah, just a quick Rago trip for today. That's pretty much the whole video, but let's see what happens. Okay, so the Virago plan, I'm going to be bomb tanking because, uh, well, I still need Bombi and some of the guys here, here do not. So bomb tanking is a really good way to try and get that. So, uh, you know, maybe we'll get one of those cool little bets. We'll see. And yeah, of course, I've got my trusty range set up because, you know, it used to be a magic one trick, but now uh, this ability, greater ricochet, it's quite good. Oh, I forgot. I'm on the wrong spell. Look. Oh, God. We can go to Rago. And now I can intercept people, so that is all good. Got shield dome as well for the uh, any extra scary bombs on like the phase ten or something. So that should be should be us sorted now. Okay, may have taken a couple of attempts, but we got the phase one down. We're all good. It's a minute and a half in. It's uh, it's a questionable kill, but you know, it's scuffed equal stuff, right? Yeah, everything's going good so far. Any Ruby SGBs? Oh, I imagine. It's always nice when you get a Ruby proc. Unfortunately, not quite this time, but you know, what can you do? But we should be able to get this down uh, pretty quick. Look at that. <laughs> Hard mode P4 skip's kind of funny. There are a lot more bombs, obviously, but you know, skipping the, uh, the clone is so, 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 so useful. Oh, you're about to take damage, but he's fine. He's alive. Okay, seems like even hard mode doesn't have mechanics anymore. <laughs> he literally just one-shot it and boom, boom. Okay, yeah, that's balanced. Like, it literally just slide, like, both faces just slide. What is that? It's so silly. But yeah, that's, that's power creep, isn't it? Kill. Does anybody get anything cool? Oh, we got some drops. Wow. I, wait, I got four phases. Damn. Fair enough. Uh, Nothing any good in there whatsoever, but, you know, we'll, we'll happily take the four phases. Oh my god, <laughs> that's a 6.7 mellow reflect. We're going to pretend that one did not happen, I think, because that's a bit spooky. So once again, nothing that we actually really need. Like, we're looking for, like, Hydrix bolt tips is the best thing, but... Also, someone got fleeting boots right at the same time, but that's all good. We go again, and we'll see what happens. All right, well, that's a kill without even reflect happening. Like, man, I remember this was hard mode. Yeah, me too. Me too. But once again, nothing particularly awesome. It's all just torsal season, isn't it? Torsal season dehyde seem to be the uh, name of the game today, unfortunately. But, you know, we've got one more kill on this, I believe. So maybe there's a chance for something cool. Oh, no way. We're three... Oh, God. 3k off from uh, one-shotting the team split before Reflect. That was so close, but so far. Unlucky. Oh, God. Um, I was on 16 HP just then. Maybe I should... Yeah, you know what? Camelot, I think that'll... That'll probably be smart, wouldn't it? Yep. Tough, but it's all... It's just like Dehyde and Grapevines as before. But that's right. A really fun trip. But yeah, unfortunately, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy for anyone. But yeah, guys, probably a bit of a shorter one today. Because literally... Well, I don't know. I did, did productive things in real life today. And by productive things, I mean... I got a haircut, which I guess is kind of productive. First one in a while, definitely required. Um, but yeah, just fishing progress. I guess I'm gonna show you my uh, my cooked fish collection. That's you know that's content, isn't it? We like a bit of content around these parts. So get ready for some content regarding uh, fish. So I have. They shouldn't be in this tab, but they are. Look at that. Two point seven k surfish. That's super, super, super cool. Then a little bit of K-Fish, 7 to 5, they're probably, I mean, will I use these? I don't know, like Slayer food or something, who knows? But then loads of Blubbers, which uh, is super nice to have as well. These are mostly going to be for when I get Eldritch Crossbow, because, um, well, when you Eldritch spec, the, you know, you, you no know, longer like heal from Soul Split, it does damage instead. So it's really good to eat Blubbers and Guthix Rests to make sure your stats don't go down. Um, so we'll be using a lot of those in the future, I imagine. I'm still a lot more to get because we are, what, 2.4 mil from uh, 99 fishing. So it's, it's quite slow XP. It is quite slow, but it's, um, yeah, it's really good supplies. And only 54 great whites. Interesting. These must be like super rare for some reason then. 
Um, but that's kind of cool. It's got a bunch of rock tails as well. I don't know how many I had, uh, but nearly 3k now. But super, super nice. I should probably like move some of the stuff from the other tab into this one. Because like, alligator like that. I, you know what? Let's do that. Let's, let's be productive, shall we? Let's do that. Let's get some blubbers, get some cave fish, and we'll probably replace desert soul. I've got 4,000. Jeez. Um, put some of those in there. I can go up there. And then the blubbers, they can go there as well. There we go. How's that? It's a bit more. Go like that. Is that better? Go like that. Is that good? No, like this. No, that. Aha. Now it's sort of in order in a way. Kind of. Uh, maybe they should be together, actually. There we go. Blubbers together and then fish. That works, doesn't it? That works. Organizing banks. Uh, well, I say organizer. <laughs> I've got nine spaces left. It's a bit of a disaster, but... Oh, now I've got more, like... Wow, look at all those spaces. Crazy. Wow, look at that. 13 spaces. Lucky me. Um, but yeah, so that's, a re that's really good for fishing. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, guys, uh, we're back, uh, back to the usual. So uh, do not panic. We're all good in that department. Another regular day tomorrow, but I guess it's kind of nice having a, a sort of a break day in a way, but yeah, it, it is what it is. Yeah, definitely want to do some more Talos because that's been going very, very well, hasn't it? Look at that, 2.9. We're actually zooming. We actually are zooming, so that shouldn't be uh, too much longer until 3k, assuming we can you know, pop off like we did last time because that was ooh, that was pretty damn good, wasn't it? And also, of course, it's, uh, it's actually ED3 Spotlight tomorrow. Uh, which a lot of people don't know what that is. Basically, every day a dungeon has well more DGXP, you get an extra mini boss, and death costs are a little bit reduced in the dungeon, which is kind of nice. So we'll be uh, possibly doing some ED3 tomorrow as well, working towards that Eldritch, of course. We are still uh, one out of three right now, but you never know. Could be two out of three tomorrow, maybe, maybe, maybe. And also, oh, I should go back to the bank for this. I've had an idea. Like it's been in, uh, well, yeah. I've been thinking of, thinking of it for a while. Basically, I have a uh, an offhand shadow glaive here, right? And uh, as you guys might know, the flanking four perk basically makes you hit like 12k regardless because it's just really good. So I was thinking, what if I uh, take off the flanking four from this one? Well, maybe I'll take off just like you know, or just or, or augment my other my other crossbow, and instead of having a flanking four on the bite bound with my regular gear. I'll have it on the glaive instead, and then I can have it's somewhere around here. There's a, a, there it is, spare blight bound. Imagine, that. imagine saying that having a spare blight bound is crazy. Um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna flanking for the glaive, and then after shock equilibrium, this thing it's gonna be a bit weird at first to get used to, but I don't know. I think it could be quite good. Um, because obviously after shock four is pretty nuts, especially you know when it combines with uh, like caroming and stuff. So. We should be uh we should be all good. Because I've already got the precise six aftershock one in there as well. So but yeah, so that's probably what we're gonna do, at least until I get a die, like a barrier's die. But then after that I will die the um like the other blight bound, and then we can have like triple blight bounds and it'd be pretty damn cool. So look forward to that sometime in the future, whenever we get a bit lucky on clue scrolls. You never know, it could happen. Oh speaking of clue scrolls, an elite clue from uh, Prosper, see? It pays off, doesn't it? The Prosper perk. Um, but either guys, I think that'll be it for now. It's a bit of a ramble, isn't it? A bit of a ramble, but we like the rambles, don't we? But yeah, look forward to future videos. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, favorite, uh, bookmark, um, you know, dance with, marry the video. I mean, I probably don't do that. It's a bit weird. Um, but either way, have a good one, guys, and I will see you all in the future.